this is the story of the two most interesting people. This may be the story of the world, the world's most interesting people, but it not, may not be. We have to start much more simply though. She is the far more concerned about truth. Me, not so much. So a truth. Peonies are pretty. And she likes them. And she likes them. Fact. Peonies may be pleasing, pretty, but dialers, dialers are officially regal. I like them better. And this fact makes me feel special beyond her version of the truth. Now you, dear reader, get this situation. Interesting people aren't interesting because of their lives, but because of all the lovely flowers. Flowers exist only in love, death, and origin stories. For example, Mother's Day. Fact. Flowers attempt to exist elsewhere, and the effort is real. Interesting people fancy themselves gardeners, and the flowers they plant exist for an infinitesimal moment and then fade into memory. The people should leave gardening to the experts, those professionally running the birth, death, and love businesses. We came by this wisdom rather painfully. March 12, 2004, we went to a field south of Fifth Avenue. We picked flowers, her for me, me for her, just cuz. We hadn't said, I love you, nor sorry for your loss. No reason for these flower exchanges other than prettiness or purtiness, as she says. But within minutes of our exchange, I, I burped out, love you. And she got an email that her hamster had died in the care of her mother. Lesson learned. Interesting people, therefore, are the very last to admit this to themselves. The cause and effect of the flower phenomenon is painful to them. Truth and fact seekers though they are, a shameful optimism burns darkly within, symbolized no better than with the beloved peonies and the aesthetically perfect dahlias. No, we're not in a relationship. I just asked her. But you interesting people insist, don't you? You want me to pull a flower out right now and make it interesting and risky. After all that's been said? Will this wilted dandelion suffice? Some think they are weeds, not flowers. A convenient doubt for you, the interesting reader. Weeds? How interesting. A wilted dandelion, a dried thistle, still colored, alive, but breathing with great difficulty. This is us. Flowers, but not. Unwanted, not in the canon of the gardener's Bible, reviled. You say we are not in a relationship, but we are. You know we are. We are exempt from it all. And you know it. We are the weeds. Fact. Wish fulfilled. Fate? The doing of our doing? Or the flowers doing? The reader wants to know how it ends. It doesn't end. The flowers keep growing. And the weeds. And, and we leave them. To their own midday misdeeds. Come now, Rose. The end.